Who the fuck? And that United! <laughs> Aston Villa have beat Nottingham Forest. What a result for Aston Villa. Absolutely huge in the magnitude of, of our season and where we are. We're playing sort of pressure cooker football at the minute where results are the main purpose of why we're going out on the field, you know, to, to get three points every time. There's massive pressure on this team, but we showed character uh, at times in this performance when it was needed, when it got a little bit gritty, it got a little bit edgy, but that first half for me, we were absolutely explosive. We were dynamite. We were so so aggressive in our in our attacking play. We were, you know, through balls were clinical, the the, the crosses were brilliant, the finishing was deadly and you know that first half was brilliant and it started with Leon Bailey we've heard about Murillo all week from the Forest fans of, of how he's a, a world-class player and, and he's better than Pau Torres but Leon Bailey little little nutmeg on, on Murillo and, and we got our first goal through Ollie Watkins good finish you know in front of the whole tent it's nice to see Ollie Watkins getting a goal in front of the whole tent and then, you know, it's a blur at times when you're in the old tent and goals are going in and you're celebrating and, yeah, so we've got the Dougie Louise cut back from Ramsey. I don't know whether that was the second or the third, but it was a great cut back from, from Ramsey. And then we've got the Douglas Louise head out, which was just brilliant. And, and Villa were rampant. Villa were in literally like cruise control we, we spoke about before the game that Villa had to control this game we had to control the game to not allow Nottingham Forest to have any transitional play or to be able to to break on us and and first half they were non-existent it was all Villa and we, we, we were superb frustrating to concede at the end of the first half you know um, Taiwo got a header and it went to one of their players and, and, and they managed to chest it into the net and I, I I sort of said at half time like maybe that goal would have been a bit of a blessing for Villa because if we'd have gone in at 3-0 up you know they'd have come back out firing but wasn't to be they came out and got that next goal which is always crucial in a game so it was 3-2 and, and and we showed great resilience Pau Torres went off at half time which is a bit of a worry but Chambers came on and, and he was brilliant with, with his passing. I thought his distribution was really good. Um, and then we started to sort of get a little bit more control on that game, what Unai is all about. And I, I felt calm second half. Uh, and then we got our fourth goal and, and great play from Bailey. And Bailey's just unbelievable. And, and there were so many good performances today. I thought Longley again was absolutely superb. He, he didn't put a foot wrong. Matty Cash was brilliant. We're starting to see that build up of performances. We saw it against United. We saw it against Fulham. And that was another really good performance from Matty Cash. I thought McGinn was just an absolute engine in the middle. He was driving Villa forward superbly. I thought that double pivot of Louise and McGinn was absolutely brilliant it, it, it was great and, it, and in that position it looks like we're currently not missing Kamara I thought Ramsey had a better first half and first half all game I thought Watkins was absolutely unplayable he, his hold up play his running with the channels was absolutely superb his decision making is brilliant his finishing is great and what a victory to go eight points clear Manchester United five points clear of Spurs still got Spurs to come to Villa Park Absolutely loving it. Up the villa.